Hey everyone, how I here? Be another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. In this video, we are going to be discussing the upcoming thank you celebration on the global version of the game. So with that, if you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and dive right in. And uh, really, the first thing I wanted to go over for the thank you celebration is the JP counterpart of it, and that's the Tanabata celebration, which happened, what was it, the end of June? And it's an amazing celebration, that's why Thank You Celebration is amazing as well. And of course, that was the introduction to LR Tech Super Gogeta, an amazing, amazing unit. And that banner dropped right around the 30th of June, yeah, I think 30th of June. And seven days later, or eight days later, we ended up getting the Tanabata banner, which, again, the Tech Super Gogeta is on that banner as well. And we'll discuss it in a few slides from here, but... Um, that was the initial two banners that we ended up getting for the Tanabata celebration, which also we ended up getting the EZA for Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2. The final Neo God EZA in Super Saiyan 3 Tech Goku. And then part two, we ended up getting Janemba on there. Now, on top of all that, we ended up also getting an Extreme Super Battle Road, new Extreme Super Battle Road stages and World Tournament. Now, the funny thing is, we did not end up getting the last celebration, the Super Battle Road that I was expecting. Thus, I don't think we're going to get an extreme Super Battle Road for the global version of the game. And we just had a world tournament. So we shouldn't expect getting a world tournament either on this celebration, which actually fast forwarded a bunch. Um, so I don't know if they're going to do a world tournament revamp or something of that nature. But we'll see. We'll see what they actually end up doing on the JP side and the global side, because we're going to get a dual celebration during November. Uh, in Super Dragon Ball Heroes, which again, we'll talk about that in a second. So what we are going to get on the global timeline, so this is JP here, what we're going to get on the global timeline is the first thing we're going to get is the uh, 4.20, 420 update, um, which isn't all that exciting. It should speed up the game a little bit. It's going to give us uh, a different way of looking at like the missions, um, the tab there. I'm not a huge fan because for some apparent reason they don't have an accept all for like everything. You're going to have to, uh, excuse me, going to go to each little bubble there and uh, make this a little bigger. <clears throat> uh, get a little bubble here and then pick up the uh, accept all the missions. I'm not a big fan of that. I just want to accept everything and uh, uh, whatever. Uh, if it's you know daily normal or everything else, I want to grab all the rewards there. Now you're also get, we're also going to get a little extra benefit when it comes to rank. When you're ranking up, you're going to exceed your maximum stamina, which is good. And then you're going to have a returning login bonus that's going to look a little bit better. So nothing too huge. A little bit of UI changes on there, but nothing to have to do with the gameplay in a sense. That's going to change dramatically. Uh, but hopefully, like I said, it will speed up the game on there. So we are going to get the update for 20 uh, here. So look out for that uh, upcoming really, really soon here. Now, the global timeline uh, from the update to uh, 420 is going to then bring on the beginning of the thank you celebration, starting with the Dokkan Festival exclusive banner for LR Tech uh, Super Gogeta here. And this banner is pretty solid. Um, the only issue with this banner here, it does have 10 featured units versus your normal seven because we have LRs on this banner here and we actually have three LRs. We have the Gogeta, we have um, the LR Beyond Blues, and then we have LR GoBros. So if you haven't pulled GoBros by now, you, <laughs> you hopefully will pull them in this banner, but I feel like everybody has GoBros uh, these days uh, because he feels like he's on every single LR banner. So or Dokkan Festival exclusive LR banner, that is. Um, you're also going to get a brand new Gotenks. We're going to have the boys on the on the banner. You're going to have PyCon. You're going to have uh, Int transforming uh, Gotenks. Then you have Tech Janemba, uh, everyone's favorite there, right? So, And then two Gogetas in movie Gogeta Blue and the uh, Int EZA uh, Super Gogeta there. So that's going to be the banner. It's a fairly good banner on here. I, it, this unit is very, very good. It, it's some. It's a banner that you might want to, you know, summon a bit on. We're getting some tickets, as you see. So we had some Dokkan Festival tickets that we ended up getting uh, for the countdown here. Five tickets that should go in line with possibly, um, you know, buy three get some tickets or buy three get one free and some tickets we'll see how that works on there global has been having a lot of advantage when it comes to that right so 
that's what we should expect to get uh, from the update into the beginning of the thank you celebration. Now, the thank you celebration, I think, is going to be a little bit different than the JP, whereas what I'm expecting here is Super Battle Road stages. <laughs> we didn't get this in the last celebration, which I still don't understand why, because it came out during the same time, the same celebration that we got for Kid Gohan, and we just did not get them and uh, and the new trunks here but uh, I think during this celebration we should get them here maybe we get lucky and we get the extreme super battle road stages uh, right afterwards in, in December but it'd be very strange if we did not get the um, new super battle road stages in this celebration or some portion of the celebration it doesn't have to be right away but it could be just down the road also we're going to get great saiyan man 1 and 2 easy a and the super saiyan 3 tech uh, super saiyan 3 goku along with that so so really the addition is the uh, super battle road stages which is just making up for that lost time where they ended up putting world tournament in the last celebration versus maybe the Super Battle Road stages here. Now, the then difference is, oh well, if they're gonna not put the Thank You Dokkan Festival ticket in here, then, uh, or the banner in here in the first portion, like the first seven days after the Gogeta comes out, where are they gonna put it? So in part two, we should be getting LR Physical Janemba, another great unit there. He's lacking categories majorly, but uh, as a standalone unit, it's a great unit. So I'm thinking we're going to get the Tanabata or slash thank you Dokkan Festival celebration banner is actually going to be during part two. So I think they're going to delay it a little bit, maybe even further. We'll talk about that in a second. But uh, I, I think that would make sense. Part two should start around the 19th, 20th. Let me see the, the dates here. Yes, maybe some somewhere. Actually, maybe a little bit earlier. Part two might start around like the 15th, 16th. And then leading into some other things that we'll talk about in a second. Now, this banner here, it's going to be a lot harder for you to pull Tech Gogeta. However, there are some other units on here that you might be interested in, especially if you did not do well on the summons for the six-year anniversary. And that is LR uh, MUI Goku and then uh, uh, Evolution Vegeta. So those two units are on this. Beyond Blues are on this as well. I don't know. And, and, and the GoBros. I don't know why they added those two. They could have added the five-year anniversary units in, uh, instead. Um, but yeah, you know, so two banners. You're able to get three of the same LRs on it. Uh, but you also, you're going to get some L, uh, some other Dokkan Festival exclusive units on the uh, featured as well. But there's 20 of them. That's the difficult thing. If you, if you get a featured unit... You only get a 1 out of 20 chance versus a 1 out of 10 chance for the Tech Gogeta. So um, depending on how you want to spend your stones, and you're going to get some tickets for this as well, um, it'll be interesting to <laughs> to really look at the stats, and I'll, 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 I'll do that in another video as well. So I think this is going to be during Part 2 or maybe even later, because during Part 2 or Part 2 Plus, we should be also getting two things that's generally... Uh, speaking has been already announced and that is the collab for the super dragon ball heroes red ribbon army and then uh i'm sorry <laughs> uh dragon ball super superhero movie collaboration and then the super dragon ball heroes collaboration uh, on that now the super dragon ball heroes collaboration we know that's going to be toward the end of um of november right it's going to be like probably starting like on the 19th 20th uh and here's the thing is banners don't have to go away we will actually know when this banner will probably drop is when the tech gogeta banner uh ends right so when the tech gogeta banner ends is what probably when we're going to get the super dragon ball heroes banner and that's going to be in parallel to the janemba banner so with the lr banner which is gold coin super dragon ball heroes is a blue coin banner right it's a guaranteed featured banner and will coincide the same time as the lr banner and possibly the thank you celebration as well so we can definitely see three banners that we're able to summon on uh with the thank you um Dokkan festival banner the lr janemba and the Super Dragon Ball Heroes banner. So a red, yellow, and blue coin uh, establishment toward the end of November there. Um, and the Super Dragon Ball Hero, uh, Superhero, that is 
uh, probably just going to be a small event. I thought it was going to be a bigger event, but it might just be an introduction. Uh, we might just like fight Gamma 1, Gamma 2, and nothing too big as I thought it could have been. So, uh, so I think that's just going to be laid in probably toward the end of November uh, versus the beginning of November. Uh, and, uh, and like I said, this is going to be part of the Thank You Celebration. All this is like wrapped into the Thank You Celebration in all of November. Now, one thing they could do, here's one thing they could do that might be a little bit different that um, Global has done before is that they, you know, do the beginning portion of the Thank You Celebration. They do the superhero Red Ribbon Army collab in the middle. Then they introduce Janemba and then goes into uh, Super Dragon Ball Heroes. And then they do the Dokkan Festival uh, banner in the th and the remainder of the Thank You Celebration in December. They could do that as well. I think that they're going to go more towards something like this here than they would here, but I think either one is a definite possibility. So um, what I'm hoping, what I'm hoping if they do it this way, that Extreme Super Battle Road is going to come in December as well. So, uh, so we get the Super Battle Road in the beginning of November and then the beginning of December or maybe the middle of December, we will get Extreme Super Battle Road stages on top of that crossing my fingers i'm hoping that's the case um and i don't know if they're gonna do anything for you know black friday because i think what, what was that they did it one time right goku black on black friday but uh, i don't know actually they do that on legends i don't know i'm getting all confused there but uh, who knows we might see something like that or like super dragon ball heroes they can do like a zomasu or a goku black card on you know, Black Friday or something like that, a special free-to-play unit or, 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 or something fun. So anyway, that's the upcoming timeline for the Tanabana slash thank you celebration on the global version of the game. Tell me what you guys think. Do you guys think uh, it's going to happen like this or it's going to happen like this? Or you actually think the, the Dokkan Festival banner is going to basically do exactly what the JP version did was right after the tech Gogeta, we had actually ended up getting uh, the banner right away. I don't, I, don't, I don't see that happening. I think they're going to delay it for a little bit in accordance to uh, having the Dokkan Festival banner, the LR banner, and the Super Dragon Ball Heroes banner all in one um, place where you can all summon. So anyway, that's what I think. Uh, let me know in the comments section below what you guys think. And if you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Thank you all for watching. Keep on Dokkan. We'll catch you next time. Later.